Welcome to my channel. This is Franco Pantaleon. In this video, I will present to you the three very useful line equations and its applications. So we have three useful line equations. We have form 1, which is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So we have this form. So this is our equation 1, the general form. The second equation that is very useful is the point-slope form. So we have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. We have this variable m being the slope of our line. Now another very useful equation is the slope intercept form. The slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus b. These are the three most useful line equations when dealing with problems for equations of lines. Now, M stands for the slope. Suppose we have point 1 and point 2. This is our point 1 and this is our point 2. And with coordinates x1, y1. And for point 2, we have x2, y2. Now, the slope of this line, m being equal to the difference in the distances y all over the difference of the distances x. We have here our delta y is equal to y2 minus y1 and our delta x is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so our slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so these are the basics when dealing with problems involving line equations, these are the very important equations that we need to use. Now, another concept is about the concept of parallel lines. Two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Supposing this is line number one, and this is line number two and the slope of our line number one is simply equal to m and then the slope of line number two must be likewise be equal to m the equation being y equal to m x plus b sub 1 for line number 1 and for line number 2 we have mx plus b sub 2 for line number 2 so these lines are parallel now what about for perpendicular lines two lines with slopes m sub 1 and m sub 2 are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals and it can be expressed by this equation such that line number 2 is perpendicular to line number 1 
their slopes should be negative reciprocals. So, M2 is simply equal to the negative reciprocal of our M1. Now, this information would be also helpful when dealing with vertical and horizontal lines. The equation of a vertical line is simply equal to x is equal to a and the equation for a horizontal line is y is equal to b. So, this is the graph of our horizontal and our vertical line. Okay, let's have our first illustrative example. Number one, find an equation of the line through point five and two that is parallel to the line four x plus six y plus five is equal to zero. Now notice that the given equation of the line is in the general form. And we're writing this equation. We have y is equal to negative 4x over 6 minus 5 over 6 so we now have the slope intercept form now based on this equation we know that our m is equal to if we reduce this further we can reduce this further to 2 third x minus 5 over 6 so the slope of our line is negative 2 thirds since we already have our slope we can now use the point slope form to determine the equation of our line the equation our point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 our x sub 1 is 5 and our y sub 1 is Two. So, substituting the values, we have y minus 2 is equal to, the slope is negative 2 thirds times x minus 5. Now, if we simplify this equation, this becomes 2x plus 3y minus 16 is equals to 0 and this equation is in standard form and this is now our answer okay next we have illustrative example number 2 Find an equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line 4x plus 6y plus 5 is equals to 0 and passes through the origin. So, 
our general form is this equation. So we will rewrite this equation. We can rewrite this equation as y is equal to again negative 4 over 6x minus 5 over 6 and reducing farther we have y equal to negative 2 third x minus 5 over 6 so based on this form the slope intercept form we know that the slope of this line is equal to negative two-thirds now such that we have a perpendicular line our needed slope should be the negative reciprocal of this slope so we have our m2 must be equal to the negative reciprocal of our this line here we might name this as our m1 and the negative reciprocal of m1 is equal to positive 3 halves now we already know the slope of our perpendicular line so what we're going to do now is we are going to use the point slope form so again we write the point slope form equation we have y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 now our in m that the slope of our this our slope here should be equal to 3 halves so we have and by the way it passes through the origin our origin is 0 0 therefore our x1 is 0 and our y1 is 0 so we substitute the values we have y minus 0 is equal to 3 halves times x minus 0 and our final equation is y is equal to 3 halves x so this is now the equation of our line perpendicular to line 4x plus 6y plus 5 is equals to 0 and passes through the origin so this is our answer now let's have one final illustrative example find the equation of the line passing through points negative 4 7 and 3 and 2 now we are given two points with this information we first determine the slope our slope is simply equal to y2 minus y1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 now this could be our point 1 and this could be our point 2 so 
our m is equal to our y2 is 2 our y1 is 7 over x2 is 3 minus our x1 is negative 4 so the slope of our line is simply equal to negative 5 over 7 now since we already have our slope we can now again use the point slope form so we have y minus y sub 1 is equals to m times x minus x sub 1 we have y minus we can select any point so in this case we simply use this point here so we have our y1 is 7 our m is negative 5 over 7 and our minus x1 our x1 is negative 4 minus negative 4 okay so we have y minus 7 is equal to negative 5x over 7 minus 20 over 7 now simplifying this further we have y is simply equal to negative 5x over 7 plus 29 over 7 so this could be the equation of our line passing through points negative 4 7 and 3 2 so this is now our answer if you like the content of this video click like and subscribe thank you